Main Street in Pullman, Washington, home to Washington State University, shows a glimpse of college town life leading into this semester. In a typical fall, the town population swells to about 35,000, as more than 20,000 students report for class. But this semester, the on-campus residence halls and apartments will be virtually empty, and the more than 30,000 seats in Martin Stadium will be too. It's not just Pullman. One study says, as of mid-August, the coronavirus has pushed nearly half of U.S. colleges and universities into some degree of remote learning. That could mean fewer students and visitors in college towns, which could lead to lower sales for restaurants, gas stations, and hotels. That's sending shockwaves through the economies of many college towns. In Pullman, Washington, WSU dominates the landscape and the economy. Anna Brown, an economist at MC, creates models of spending patterns in college towns. So when we look at these analyses, what we want to look at is the new economic activity created in a town or in a region as a result of a university. So the operation spending impact is what we call it, tends to be one of the largest impacts. And we especially see that with WSU and Pullman. Brown's model says that the university's day-to-day spending brought $779 million into Pullman's economy in a recent fiscal year. That includes spending on staff payrolls, equipment purchases, and food. And then how that spending ripples through the local economy. The school's budget comes from a few revenue streams, including enrollments and public funding. Both are expected to be down, in part due to the coronavirus. Washington State is asking public universities to plan for a 15% reduction in state funding for the 2021 fiscal year. WSU's financial officer said that the budget cut for the school is roughly equal to the cost to run the colleges of business, communication, and education combined. Similar losses could happen elsewhere in the country. In California, public colleges face $602 million in reductions. The state of Maryland imposed 8% in cuts on higher education, which may reduce university spending as well. Enrollment could stall or even be down at some schools, potentially hurting school budgets and interrupting spending on college town communities. In the Northeast, the enrollment dip could cause some schools to shutter altogether. 19 cities and towns in New England have economies that rely on financially vulnerable colleges, according to an analysis from the Federal Reserve Bank of Boston. The financial health of a college town depends on university spending, but student activity plays an important role too. MC's analysis of Pullman says student spending had an impact of $48.5 million last year. That's equivalent to about 1,200 local jobs. And this includes the spending that students spend for their room and board, particularly for off-campus students, as well as for their day-to-day expenses as they're going to local restaurants, as they're spending money on gas and so forth. Like um, All of that is considered within the student spending impact. And really what we're focusing in on there are students who are relocating to Pullman or students who stay in Pullman because of WSU. If students stay away, Pullman businesses will see fewer sales and the city government will see less tax revenues. But the city administrator of Pullman says that at least some students are returning to their off-campus apartments their activity could help offset the impact of budget cuts. In conversations with the university, they're, they're planning currently for about 70% of the students to return. And the students are such a, a huge impact on our, our community. I mean, they're, they're residents most of the time of the year as well. So anytime they're going out and spending, that, that means a big impact. Other schools are working with local businesses to welcome students back. That could alleviate some of the economic pain. Virginia Tech is welcoming students back to Blacksburg, but off-campus students can't buy on-campus meal plans. That could divert more spending toward local restaurants and grocers. Back out west, Moscow, Idaho is welcoming 12,000 students to attend the University of Idaho. Their campus is 10 miles away from WSU. That could draw more students into the region, helping mitigate some of the economic damage. But the loss of fall sports could significantly reduce visitor spending. In Pullman, visitors brought $17.3 million into the local economy in a recent fiscal year. During big football events, there are a lot of Cougar fans who live in the Seattle area, and so they are coming from Seattle every weekend or every home game weekend 
to watch the football game. And so then they're bringing that money with them and that's creating uh, the economic impact by spending locally. And it's money that would not have otherwise been spent if not for the university home games or other events such as graduation or um, mom's weekend and, and those types of events. But this spring, as the country sheltered in place, events were called off. Craig Depkin, a professor of economics at the University of North Carolina at Charlotte, says that game day spending from visitors will be missed most in the smallest college towns. Let's say a, a town like Prairie View, Texas, which has about 5,600 people, something like that, roughly around 6,000 people in the town. That's a small town. The economy is not going to be very huge. It will have its fast food restaurants and it'll have its gas stations. Then you look at the football stadium at Prairie View A&M. If that stadium is full, it has more people in the stadium than live in the entire town. One of his studies found that in smaller college towns, games can promote economic growth. But Prairie View A&M's athletics conference postponed fall sports. Some of the biggest football conferences are following suit. Washington State University's Pac-12 conference postponed fall athletics, as did the Big Ten. With football season postponed, college towns like Pullman may see a reduction in spending, as they could from their other two main sources. Spending in college towns will be down this fall. The expected slowdown in activity could eliminate vital jobs. As fall approaches, economists are watching 